I'm trying to be very positive up front, and then when I naturally start ranting, um, I should have my karmic uh, balance. First of all, thank you all for the uh, get well wishes. Um, so I'm a little more cynical than others, but I appreciate all of them. That's number one. Number two, for those of you who are like searching for Game of Thrones reactions, uh, Storm Akima, seeing Grandma freak out is hilarious. Um, Hunter Boyle, she's like a borderline genius. Uh, Merrick Productions, most you know, film buff, etc., etc., etc. Now, with positivity out the way, let me get down to negativity. I haven't had a good rant in a while. When I rant, it's usually on something abstract. We rant on something completely abstract or concrete, as cool kids would say. You guys are out of your fucking mind. Pretend like this is the first time you're seeing it. You don't know what's gonna happen next. Oh, fucking two seasons from now. I'm talking about right fucking now. Watch this. I'm weird. I'm the one that's out of line. I'm the one that's oh, that can't be nice to somebody. Oh, Jimmy, you're a fucking weirdo. How? How? You're gonna kiss me on the cheek and stare at me like you're half a fucking retard? And I'm supposed to just think, oh, that's just her being nice. Just saying thank you. You know, because that's what I do when I say thank you. I fucking kiss people on the cheek and stare at them. Like they're a piece of meat. That's what I do. That's how I say thank you. I don't just say thank you. Like Herschel did. Like everybody else did. I gotta, hmm, and then stare at them. You guys let your knowledge that nothing happens cloud your judgment in the moment. Because if fucking, if, if something would have happened, you like, oh, look at Jimmy. Oh boy, that Jimmy. He picks up all the subtle hints. <laughs> but since it does have all those, what the, fuck's he, what the fuck's he looking at? Everybody knows fucking Beth the Rip, though. What do you mean? She's 17. She's 40. <laughs> 40 with four kids pretending to be 17 who has the brain of a 12 year old. Are you out of your mind? Like, I'm crazy. Like, I'm insane. <laughs> Fuck away from me. I'm having a breakdown here. No, people just don't get the subtle hands. People, I'm people now. Now I'm people. Go oh, fuck yourself. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> Jimmy Mack from here. We're up to season three, episode 11 of The Walking Dead. Now, last we saw the governor went to the prison. He uh, raised all types of hell. He killed the white prisoner, the only prisoner that was left. Um, and was ready to kill a whole lot more, but then... Merle and Daryl showed up. Save the day. Let's get to it. Now Axel's dead. We can't just sit here. Get back here! You're slipping, Rick. We've all seen it. We understand why. But now is not the time. You once said this isn't a democracy. Now you have to own up to that. I put my family's life in your hands. So get your head clear. And do something. Oh my god, I love Herschel. I'll say something. Will you promise not to be mad? Depends on what you're saying, my You should stop. Stop what? You can go later. Herschel and Daryl handle things. They deserve a rest. Kid's not wrong. It's rough though, that kid. It's a negotiate. I don't know if we got biters at our gates. We can't have aggressors just miles away. So you went and welcomed them to the neighborhood? You know they shot at us? I don't know who these people were when you were with them, but they changed. They're bloodthirsty. We probably made it back ourselves. Andrew. What? You go to that prison. Stay there. Wow! She's such a fucking idiot. Jesus. 
delivered minerals to the governor, bargaining chip. Give him his traitor, maybe declare a truce. Fucking clan. Can't blame him, I'm just saying. Well, um, good lord. You shouldn't be that afraid of your friend. Holy shit, no, it's friend. Motherfucker, that's what she gets for a dumbass plan. Hey! Same roof, we should clear the air. This whole hunting you down thing, that was just business. Carry down orders. Hmm. Like the Gestapo. Yeah, exactly. That was his best attempt ever, I've seen. Jesus. This will only be shocking to an idiot like her. What happened? They were friends. Welcome back. It's <laughs> a war, he's got one. Right? Make this right. Get us inside. No. We got there are innocent people. <laughs> That's because I could see it. See what? That you were under his spell from the second you laid eyes on him. That is not true. He chose a warm bed over a friend. Wow. That's why I went back to Woodbury. You didn't ask. I him for what he is. I knew that it would hurt you. So to this point, she still didn't ask, why did you come back? Michelle had to spit it out. Let me get you rest. We can talk about it tomorrow. As I say, you're welcome to stay here as long as you like, but you take the night and talk it over. Good He's good, man. He get that politician mode. <laughs> Bullshit. You need to sleep with him. Give him the greatest night of his life. Get him to drop his guard that when he's sleeping, can end this. Oh my god. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You're an idiot. I'll take Eat care. it. You hugs and kisses, motherfucker? There is no way she's gonna be able to do this. This is definitely a different pace episode than last episode, which was a bloodbath, which was an explosion. This was fun in its own way. Um, getting Andrea caught up to speed with things that she should already be caught up to speed with has its own charm. You mean, he's not a good guy? You didn't shoot first? Really? Really? Fucking idiot. Yeah, Michonne left and then she came back to stab this guy in the fucking neck. With all of his fucking zombie heads and his zombie baby chilling in the club. What? What? Somebody said she was dick drunk. 
That was pretty close to what I was gonna say. I was gonna fucking generalize it a lot more. But then I realized I do know a lot of men who do stupid things over women. So I, I couldn't just say women do stupid things over guys. But it's like, when did you stop thinking? Like, what? So now, um, new black guy and Harley Dean are, and the two psychopaths, are with Mayberry. Mayberry? Woodbury. Fuck it. Shit is a little tight. I mean, if we had to do power rankings, I would say the top tier, right, of dangerous motherfuckers. I still, I mean, we don't really know all those guys, but I still think um, Team Rick has the edge. There's Rick, there is um, Merle, there is Daryl, there is Michonne, there is, um, I feel like I missed somebody. Glenn's all right. Maggie's all right. Carl, he's a... So Rick, Daryl, Merle, and Michonne, and then they have the governor, uh, Martinez, and the other brother, not new brother, the fucking guest star brother. <laughs> um, who kind of looks like him a little bit. He looks like a slimmed down version of him. Y'all know who I'm talking about. So it's four to three badass motherfuckers. But as far as pure raw numbers, Team Governor got it. So I'm ready to get this thing kicked off. I don't think it'll happen next episode, if I had to guess. I'm going to say, yeah, towards the end of the next episode, heading into episode 13. Boom, boom, boom. Post your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Just like Steve Harvey Yo. Tell Adidas that we need a million in production Yo. I done told y'all all I needed was the infrastructure Ooh. Now we hottest in the streets, it ain't no discussion James Harden, Swaggy P running up the budget